Tonight I'm gonna to make a stir fry with broccoli and some leftover baked chicken that I have. And I'm gonna show you how I make the sauce for it. This is a sauce that I add after I've sauteed the broccoli and just added the chicken to warm up because it's already cooked. First, I'm going to put some salt in my bowl. Um, I'm not measuring anything. These are all ingredients that can be to your taste. So I have the salt. I'm gonna add fresh ground black pepper. This one, you could overdo it. You could get a little salty and fishy, so I just do a few drops of the fish sauce, just like that. And this is to your taste. Although I've never um, had the family complain that I put too much hot sauce in, I still am careful. That's probably about a teaspoon. And then I use coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. I do that because I feel like this is, I know that this is more nutrient dense and it's much lower in sodium. I'm gonna use the rest of my bottle. You can see what I have there. I'd say that's two or three tablespoons. This also works as a really good marinade, same, same recipe. And then a little bit of sesame oil for a taste. Uh, a little bit, let's say that's a teaspoon. And then the last thing I'll add is almond butter. Um, that is probably a tablespoon. This makes a really creamy sauce that coats everything, and it has been um, a favorite of my family's. And you can see that you can make this ahead of time and have it ready for when you're ready. So what I will do is I'll cook everything and then turn off the heat and toss it in this, toss to coat, and you're ready to go.